So hello people on YouTube, this is Catfine Jedi. It's been a while. Look, I've uh, relocated for a bit. Uh, no furniture, no car. Yeah, things are getting a little bit cabin fevery for me because I've just been at home all the time with Blake. Not that I don't love being at home with Blake, it's just when you're doing it all day, it kind of makes you a little crazy, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. It's my BFF. I'm calm. I'm calm, I swear. Oh, I'm good. I, I swear that I'm fine. God damn it. <laughs> In my attempts to ever say anything on YouTube, if I ever get too emotional, Cashew always comes to my aid and attempts to calm me down because she thinks I'm upset. So, um, all right. Like a lot of you, I am a, a Game of Thrones watcher. I'm a Game of Thrones watcher, and I can't believe, like, I don't know how or why I'm so upset, but I've been upset for, like, days, possibly weeks. I think I've been upset since, like, the Battle of Winterfell. I was like, okay, that... Okay, that's it. Well, let's just start. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I can't, I can't go anymore, like, beyond that. I'm going to talk about everything that happened. Everything. Because, oh my god, why? Ugh. So, I get the feeling. Now, I've heard a lot of theories. I have heard, like, every theory that, you know, um, you can think of under the sun. I've watched, like, videos nonstop about what other people think. A lot of people seem pissed. And, like, I was like still holding out hope after the Battle of Winterfell, you know, I was like, okay, that's really anticlimactic, but, but, but maybe, you know, there's a couple episodes left. This could all be for, this could all be a trick, you know, they could all, this, this could be a trick that this seems too easy. Uh, um, but in, in the midst of all this stuff, this, this term keeps popping up. that's driving me nuts. And I think we got to like, I know we're like against cancel culture, but we gotta cancel this fucking term. Subversion of expectations. Subversion of expectations. Like, I feel like this term recently has become, I am a lazy writer, and I feel like just fucking doing what I want, and in the case of D&D, Dan and Dave, I feel like my honest opinion is, you know, HBO wanted more, the HBO should have just gotten new showrunners, all right? Like, like, it happens all the time. Look like at The Walking Dead. Like, they have gone through pff, a laundry list of showrunners. I mean, not to the not to the better, to, to be honest. And I know, apparently, George R. Martin, like, he specifically wanted them to do it. Uh, but I'm sure he's not too pleased with the way things have gone. So I'm sure if you would have brought him back to the table and been like, look, Dan and Dave don't want to do this no more. Um, they got some good old Star Wars money coming their way, because Disney, you know, he's like, you guys could do the new trilogy, but, but you know what, I don't buy that shit, alright, they said the same thing about Ryan Johnson, and apparently that's also in the fucking toilet right now, so, they like, you know, whatever, these two guys who literally, like, the, the, ah, so bur burns my soul, because, like, Game of Thrones was, it's a revolution of television, the entire, nothing has come close to that in terms of like, you know, scope and scale and it was expensive, it was a very expensive show. Um, probably, what did it come out like? Probably a good like decade ago. Anyway, this show has been influencing my life forever and I'm trying to get into TV writing so you have no idea how much like influence the show has had over me. And, uh, oh, okay. Before anyone gets on the wagon, we were like, yeah, there was always hints that Danny was going to be the Mad Queen. There was always hints. There was always hints. No. No. There, not like this. There was nothing that, to this scale. Like, you know, you go from like, you know, like a 10 to like a, a, a fucking Hitler in like a goddamn two episodes. Like, what, what, the, what, 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 I assume 10 is like, you know, on a scale from 10 to like 10 million. In terms of like murder count, in terms of like she does all this stuff, you know, she, she does all this stuff, we see always her moral quandary, and then bells ring, and then you go crazy because bitches be crazy? Is that is that it? Is that really all we got here? Because they don't love me. They don't love me. <laughs> I guess the reason it makes is that she's gone through so much like kind of worse shit than they don't love me that it's like that's kind of why it's driving me nuts right now. 
Am I am I rambling? Do you guys have any idea what I'm talking about? I'm sure that if you watch it, if been if you've been watching the show, you know what I mean. But I honestly to say what you will about plans and this and that and that. I I swear to God that Dan and Dave just didn't give a fuck. Like honestly, this and the last season just scream of I don't give a fuck. Like. They don't care if nothing makes fucking sense. They don't care if they're like, you know, literally, like, it's, it feels like they didn't watch their own goddamn show, which they wrote. So I, I, I'm really confused by this. Like, when I write, I always have to go back and, like, recheck shit, like, a bunch of times. And, you know, sometimes I'll be like, okay, oh, yeah, shit, I said that. I mean, let me, consistency, you know, I make, like, like, a crazy long notebook of stuff, you know, to make sure that shit, like, plot points, right? There's, like, software for this shit and everything. There's, like, you know, all this stuff exists. And I really, really, really get the feeling like they're like, oh, you know what, fuck it, fuck it, you know, I don't care, uh, throw that shit in the garbage, you know, uh, we, we, Disney says they're gonna give us a shit ton of money, and we get to do our own Star Wars trilogy, if we get this shit wrapped now, so, so fuck it, fuck it, you know, throw the shit out, you know, who cares, who cares, you know, what, what's the ending, what's the ending, Danny goes crazy, okay, we're gonna make Danny go crazy, I mean, we gotta get rid of that Night King too, fuck, we gotta, uh, it's Cersei, oh, god, oh, yeah, but I don't wanna do ten episodes, ten episodes is too much, you know, uh, six, six, yeah, let's write fucking six, it's fine, no, who the fuck is gonna complain, you know, it's the last one, what are they gonna do, what are they gonna do, fire us, ha ha ha, <clears throat> that's, that's literally what I get the feeling that they did. Ow! <sighs> All right. The ending is coming today. I have literally no hope left. My hope has been ex ex extinguished. And that is all.